Hey guys, I wasn't planning on making a video today, but I was on ArtStation and saw that some brand new concept art was posted from the first DLC for Borderlands 3, which is Moxie's Heist of the Handsome Jackpot. And in the art that was posted, we get a look at two full new areas that were cut pretty early in development, but concept art was created, so I thought let's take a look at the art and I'll break it down for you guys. Make sure to follow me on Twitter at HaterHype and use code HaterOnScuff for 5% off your order. The sources will be linked down in the description as well, and with that out of the way, let's get right into it. David Fortin is a concept artist at Gearbox Software and was the one who actually posted this art. The first one we have to talk about is the outside of the casino itself. The description he wrote says, quote, Exploratory work done to define the initial look of the ship, the shape designs, and how to give some personality to the place. Starting out at the top, we see they called it the Death Star, which is an obvious play on the Death Star from Star Wars. In the image, we can also see a new area called Pirate City. And the description of Pirate City says, Pillage your way out of a surreal jungle. And the other new area we see is the Pharaoh Retreat, which says, Rule like a king, become immortal, an experience that will change your life forever. Now, as we move down, we see at the legs of the casino, it says, quote, The legs of the ship are living quarters and could be levels that the players visit, like the compactor zone, etc. Next to that, we get a description of the shield around the ship itself and how the ships actually get to this casino and what happens then. He said, quote, a shield protects the upper cities and creates a breathable atmosphere. The shield is shaped like a reverse diamond, all incoming ships attracted towards the inner core and are trapped in a force field. Under the main platform, it creates a long horizontal strip of chaos. And in terms of the top-down view of the casino itself, it says, quote, the ship's top has a main reactor in the center and several floating platforms around acting like islands. The main core can be disguised as a volcano. Now, he also included an early design of the impound lot, which does get important in the story itself, which was also mentioned in the first image we broke down. Then we also get a look at a few shops. There is the Dirty Diner, Lay Black Hole, and also a merch shop, which we can see has a bunch of Hyperion goods on the inside that people can buy as well. He included a picture of the Hyperion modular train station along with different iterations of the jackpot vault door. And then we close out with some Hyperion buildings. Now that's kind of all the background setting the stage with some of this concept art, and now we can get into the real fun stuff starting with Pirate Land. David's description says, quote, concepts, sketches, and painters for a zone initially called Pirate Land. Eventually, the zone got canceled altogether from the DLC. Shout out to the amazing GSQ design team who provided gray blocks and feedback for some of those. And then we can look at the images themselves. The first picture is amazing, what I assume they wanted it to look like when we first enter the area, so it looks like we're kind of almost on a ship. We can see a skull cave in the background and a ship in the cove and shops on the side. The second image is another shot of seeing the boat, seeing the cove, seeing kind of how they wanted this area to look with a lot of color and really has a good beach feel. Continuing on, we can see more shops. One is called The Cracked Skull and the other one which says tickets and says place your bets lads. And we can also see a neon statue in the background that leads into the mountain. I assume that the next image is if the player actually went into the mountain, this is what they would see. It's called the Hydrodome and continues the theme of pirates, caves, everything like that. We also get an early design for a treasure cave, which might have actually been the earliest design for Jack's Vault. I'm not sure about that though, if these would have been two separate areas or if this was just a treasure cave because it's pirate themed. And then we also get an early Pirate Cove village shot. Moving on to the next area that was cut, it's called Jackland. David's description says, quote, work done for a zone initially called Jackland. It was supposed to be inspired by Egyptian design, but at the same time very Hyperion and built around the image of Jack. Eventually, the zone got canceled altogether from the DLC. Now, the first image we see doesn't look too different than what we got in the main game itself. The style makes sense, so I assume this is what they took when they actually started designing it. But the second image really starts to show off the Egyptian design. We can see some Jack-styled sphinxes, 
and it has a desert pyramid theme as well. The third image shows off an early design for Jack's face at the entrance of the DLC. Once again, this was most likely taken and implemented, so this was a design that Gearbox was looking for and actually wanted to use. Then we get some black and white sketches for the entrance of Jackland itself, and we can also see some Egyptian-inspired Hyperion buildings. And there are some very cool designs, and I really like how they do blend that futuristic Hyperion look while still being Egyptian-themed. It's very cool, very well done, and I hope that they bring it back at some point. And the last zone I want to talk about is called Jack's Secret. David's description says, Early concept for a zone called Jack's Secret. In the first image, we can see the core itself. And in the second image, we can see different concepts that were used for the core. Very reminiscent of Bunker to me in the way that it looks like they wanted to do multiple phases. I will also mention that David posted some concept art for Trash Lantis, so if you are interested in that, I will link that as well. Now, obviously, with most of the cut content from Borderlands, it looks very good. Especially now that DLCs are $15 a piece if you are buying them separately, I kind of wish there would have been a little more content in the Handsome Jackpot DLC. And I think that if there were these two more areas that were fully fleshed out with their own side missions and design, it definitely would have made the expansion feel a lot bigger than just basically circling around the same areas, at least what it felt like to me. Also though, I will mention that with cut content, they usually end up taking pieces of unused content and using it in the future, so I wouldn't be surprised if Gearbox keeps these designs in mind for future content that they are working on, and maybe we see this moving forward. No promises, but it is possible with what we've seen in the past. That's where I'm going to end this video. Make sure to like and share, subscribe for weekly Borderlands news, and I will see you guys in the next one.